Yo, what are my Shadow Armies? It is I, Shadow Critias, back again with another What If Review video. So, yesterday I'll be reviewing of, well, you can see the thumbnail and the title is What If Deku Was Guts? And, uh, I didn't do live stream reacting because the live stream was acting up, so I had to watch it off screen. So, yeah, uh, before I continue, I'll have the link of the video down below. So, right to you guys go watch the original video for yourself. Full screen, well, my commentary goes for the official release. And, oh boy, wow. Holy shit. I, I don't want to spoil it, but I might as well just say, fuck it. The, the ending, everyone died. I, everyone just straight up died at the end. And the one three people who le who survived almost the entire end was Bakugo, Deku, and Asui. And then, at the end of it, I was thought three of them would, could live in the ending, but no. Nope. Both Deku and Bakugo died in the ferocious bloodbath death battle. Both of them died. And the last person who survived the attack of the attack of the U, you know, the end of the world of UA or whatever, is Asui because she lost her her memory because uh, Bakugo raped her and caused her to lose her memory of who she is. But she got it back, and she's the only one who survived, who alive, and she exiled herself to hide in the woods alone. And she caught illness, and she died from illness. Yeah. So Asui was the last survivor of the UA student and died by illness for the past year later. Yeah, everyone died at the end. Sadly, that both Deku and Asui didn't get, didn't have sex. Ain't that a bitch? And if you guys have not seen the Berserk, if you guys have not read the manga or watched the old class anime or the new 3D animation of Berserk, then you guys are missing out because Berserk is a fucking holy shit. I, since since I finished it, I might as well tell you guys story how did I discover how did I discover a Berserk? When I was in high school, still I was watching the episode. Where, you know, Griffin became a, a bat like demon. He killed Gus's friends, raped his girlfriend in the pool of everybody's blood, and made Guts watch. And the demon's making him watch, and Guts trying to, you know, save his girlfriend by getting raped by Griffin. But his sword breaks, and he's cut off his arm. And he's still trying to save her, but she, he gets pinned down again and makes him watch even more. And that's pretty much how it was the episode in when I first watched it for the first time. And when I first watched it the first time, I never seen any anime like this shit in my life. Because I was about to puke and pass out. Because it was my first time I actually discovered that kind of scene in anime for the first time. I think I was in my 11th grade or my 10th grade year, if I can remember correctly. And I was like, I couldn't even watch that scene because this is the first time I ever seen some shit like this. And and my boy Fiend just going all out. And while I was watching, he sent me a text message about my thoughts and everything, blah, 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 blah. And I told him, like, I, you guys know I want to become an, uh, an author. But after seeing the detail that he's playing for this, I told him, I said, like, I have a, a lot more training if I want to make my own version, most darkest, brutal, disturbing, bloodlust, all that kind of shit of the above, then I gotta take notes and do a lot more training because I'll be working on my new novel, which is gonna be the you know positive one, which you guys know I call Among with a Dragon, or Among with the Dragons. It's kind of like action pack, uh, drama and romance story. And you guys know that I made a trilogy novelization of The Demon Rush. So I might reboot it or remaking those novels to make it much more better than it was before. And I might do a remake video about this, explaining what The Demon Rush story is when I get all the ideas in my head. So, yeah, I have a lot more training. I thought I was the most guy who come up with the most darkest shit. Oh shit, hell no I am not. I'm not the only one. Whew. And that is how me and Fiend, Fiend became rivals. For storytelling and our subscribers. We became, 
I just became a just random subscriber to him, and we became friends, and now after that, we just became a rival. Ain't that a bitch? <sighs> uh, damn, man. I, I'm speechless. And I'm not gonna explain the entire detail how all the people died, cause yeah, if you guys want to find out how they died, just watch the video. Damn it. But uh, yeah, now I can tell. After I watch this, I feel like this is gonna be his all-time favorite, right next with uh, John Constantine. What if? Uh, I mean, Deku Constantine. What if? Deathstroke Deku. What if? So pretty much it's like someone in his top three. Gus probably number one. Uh, Desh, uh, Constantine or Desha, one of them might be number two or three. It says tie between them. Uh, it's a bait between them two, so yeah. But anyway, guys, I have nothing else to say. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Uh, links to the video were down below in the description box. You guys could see the visual video myself. Links to my social media, my Discord, and my GoFundMe will be down below in the description box. You guys know the drill. To, you guys know the drill to follow me. Join the, join the member of my Discord server, and also. You guys know the by the dining chain and support, etc. Again, like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Neil before Shadow Critias, I'll see you guys later.